Did the Bart, killer clean up all the blood? Are you awake? Uh oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael G. Munns, author, geek, and Macy's Parade Santa from 1943 to 1957. And this is where you watch me watch old horror and sometimes sci-fi movies that for some reason I have never seen before. Tonight, to get in the holiday spirit, I am watching Black Christmas, the original 1974 version, which, as I understand, as far as I can tell, predates all of the other slasher movies that I've heard of, so I'm really kind of interested to see how this one is. Does it, like, pioneer most of the slasher tropes that, that came later on? Is it somehow a slasher movie without those tropes, or, or is it a mix of the two? I, I honestly don't know. I'm sure there's probably some other movie that's earlier that's, well, maybe. I'm not an expert, so I don't really know. I don't know too much about this movie, aside from that I assume it's set on Christmas, and presumably there's someone going around slashing assorted people with things that are presumably sharp. But that's really it, so I'm not going to take up too much more time here in the intro, other than to tell you to please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And of course, as always, to please check out uh, my books if you're interested in the description below. And last but not least, if you want to watch the full movie with me in a watch-along format and see my reactions for the whole thing, uh, you can find that on my Patreon channel, which is also um, down below, because everything's down below, all the good stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go grab my cider, grab some popcorn, and we will start this wonderful holiday classic starring Charlie Brown and Rudolph and probably Garfield and Frosty and um, Beauregard the Moose, who is Bullwinkle's brother, and maybe some sort of guy with a sharp object that'll go around murdering people. This doesn't sound very Christmassy at all. Is this the one with Jimmy Stewart in it? That's a that's a great production company name. Film Funding. Directed by Guy Who Directs Movies. Margot Kidder. Whoa. I was about to say I don't I bet there won't be anyone I I've heard of in this movie. Wait. John wait, that's John Saxon, that's Nancy's dad from Nightmare on Elm Street, right? Now I'm hoping John Saxon's the killer because that'd be hilarious. Eventually we're going to go inside the house, right? Is this the first movie to do this? Probably not. He snorted. I never do that. We were there this afternoon, Bar. That looks like Jason Alexander with an afro. How does it look? And a mustache. Or, welcome back, Cotter. It's him again! The Mona! <laughs> Hang up the damn phone and change your number. Well, she's not going to survive this movie. Maybe the cat is the killer. Claude? Some bad's going to happen. Who is it? If I ever... Son of a... Yeah. If I ever think there's someone in my closet, I'm not going to very slowly, carefully go in there and ask quietly, who is it? I'm going to throw things first and ask questions later. But is the cat okay? Going for the cognac. There you are. That's the sign of a drinking problem. Can't imagine how long it takes to cut out all those pages. I love you. I know. Oh, Jihan sold See him. See you tomorrow. Six years before that happened. Bucks. I really hate watching people brush their teeth. Wow. Wow. Leah. She did. That's not disturbing at all. I was expecting this whole movie to take place that night. Shows what I know. Ho, 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 shit. Worst Santa Claus ever. I'll bet you'll find her over at the common room. They're having a party there today. Who's this? Uh, uh, yeah, that's gonna help. Uh, yeah, good job. He didn't see that poster at all. To be drinking and picking up boys. How many bottles has she got in the hat? Claude, you little prick! Is your name Claude? No. You go back downstairs. She's gonna call around for me. Hey, chug, 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 chug! Hello? You've got the wrong number. Where did you hang, Billy? Hang up. 
Look, I'm telling you, you Hang have the wrong up. number. There you go. Could you give me the number at the sorority house? Three. Please. It's, uh... Three. Fellatio 20880. That's way too many numbers. <laughs> they had no way of knowing. I'm not sure which is more disturbing, the music he's playing or that jacket he's wearing. So other kids have gone missing? She's only 13 years old, Lieutenant, and... Yeah, well, is it really so unusual for her to be just a few hours late, Mrs. Gwynn? I want to know why nothing's being done about Claire Harrison being missing. All right, come on in. Sergeant, bring me the file on the Harrison girl. Any excuse to get away from this missing 13-year-old case? There's a certain species of turtle that can screw for three days without stopping. Imagine all the furniture it could build. Well, I mean, how could I make something like that? So does all the alcohol that Mrs. Mack drinks go into her? <coughs> hey, don't people drink a bunch of alcohol and then think they're funny? Oh, you're gonna have to pay for that one. In for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Don't blame the piano for how much you sucked. That's not a healthy way to express anger. I'm going to go to my sister's for the holiday, so I might not be here when you get back. She's going to die in just a few minutes. No, 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 Claude. Claude, no. Claude? 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 Paul? Claude, are you up here? Oh, there's a trap door and Claude got up? Now look what you made me do. What is that? Oh, that's a, that's a hook? Why is she so concerned about the cat? She didn't care about the cat until she heard him. Hey. Oh, uh, stop that. Stop that. Stop. What the? Dude. Dude. Why is he having a fit? This is... Uh, oh, I'm not certain, but I think whoever's up in that attic has got some serious emotional problems. Hello? Hello? Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang. Don't ask who it is. What are you doing? This is just disturbing. I'm guessing Billy is the name of the killer. And he's got some sort of split personality thing going on where he's... Or her boyfriend's not going to be in a good mood because then he comes home and you ruined my piano recital. It's all your fault. I've been getting obscene phone calls and I want to know what can be done about it. Oh, now they're reporting it? I was upstairs having a little sleep. I hope you don't mind, but it got a little cold out there waiting for you. Yeah, I just wandered into the sorority house, fell asleep. I know. Wait. Is he the killer? No, he could be the killer. How did the recital go? They're just trying to trick us in. Probably just one of your boyfriends playing a little joke. That's his M.O. on everything. I'm sorry, miss. Or his, his answer for him. Sir, the president's been killed. Oh, it's probably one of his boyfriends having a little joke. I'm leaving the conservatory. Peter. Well, good, because you're playing sucks. Just hear me out. I'm quitting the conservatory and we're getting married. Normally one asks that. Maybe I'm a traditionalist. I don't know. A high school girl's been murdered. Mr. Harrison's daughter is missing. And now at the house where she lives, the other girls are getting obscene phone calls. I'm sure there's no connection. It's probably one of the boyfriends doing it. You selfish bitch. You gotta stop smashing things, dude. Especially things that don't belong to you. What is on that tree? What the fuck? Was that a thing? You're gonna be very sorry. I still don't think he's the killer, but I think they want us to think he's the killer. Hi, Peter. This afternoon I got a call from a woman that I thought was the wrong number. I don't think that was a woman. It's too bad there's not a turtle around that could help him. She's upstairs asleep. Um, she's not feeling too well. No, she's drunk. Is she the one that was at the station today? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll let her sleep. <laughs> I like John Saxon's character, so I hope he doesn't die. I know it's not very pleasant, but... Uh, girls, can I show you something? I can't get over the shit that's on that tree. Is it supposed to be snow? Is it Christmas spiders? I don't know. Will you be okay if I go up to bed? Phyllis is next. Yeah. Why are all the phones in this movie pea green? Because it was the 70s, that's why. Oh, that's not... Um... 
dumb. This guy is really creeping me out. That unicorn looks dangerous. Thought for a second maybe she had a unicorn down her throat. I don't think carolers are actually a thing. I've only ever seen them in movies and TV shows. Therefore, they can't possibly exist. If you give them cocoa, do they go away? Like, stop it, I'm uncomfortable. Here, take your treats and go. They just look like they're having so much fun, too. Maybe they know there's a murder going on in the house and their uncomfortable singing is in... And I, I, I don't know where that sentence was going. Oh, you touch her, Superman's gonna be pissed. Uh, I don't like the look of that unicorn, I tell you that before. I tell you it again. Agnes, it's me, Billy. What the shit? Who's Agnes? Agnes, don't you tell what we did, Agnes. What the... Uh, that, put that, no, just, uh, 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 ah, ooh, ah. Okay, now the carolers look happy. That's not fucked up at all. Your phone's ringing. Oh, yes, excuse me. Good night. <laughs> it's my weirdo stalker. I have to get that. Is this the origin of the it's coming from inside Hello? the house thing? Just like having a wart removed. I'm still resisting the idea that it's the boyfriend, but it's getting harder to resist that. You know, I don't like Peter much, but I don't think he's that sick. Yeah, I'm still not thinking it's Peter, but okay, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna say it's not Peter that's killing people. I'm gonna stand by that until I'm proven wrong. But I'm only 75% sure I'm not gonna be proven wrong. That's right, it couldn't be Peter. Phil, it couldn't be Peter, um, he was here. Jess, do you want one aspirin or two? Three. Hi. <laughs> that was who was that? Carol. Sorry to scare you, miss, but we're with the search party. Thought we'd search the refrigerator for some snacks. <laughs> we were just wondering if you noticed anything suspicious here tonight. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, well, uh, you just keep your doors and windows locked. These just these guys just wanted to stop by the sorority house, didn't they? Good enough. Thank you, very much. Remember to lock those doors and windows. Oh my God! Oh, shut okay. up. Okay. Did the killer clean up all the blood? Are you awake? Uh oh. Are you there? Uh, probably Bill. not anymore. Freddy Krueger is disturbing in his own way. Jason Voorhees was never really disturbing. This guy is disturbing. Who is Agnes? Is Agnes a family member he killed? Jennings. Oh, Jennings is dead, isn't he? Jennings. He dead. Jennings. He dead. Jennings. Dead. Jennings should have locked his door. Nash, be calm. Don't tell him. Oh, the God, they're sending calm. Nash. Everybody dead. Where's Chris? He's not dead. Who is this? Nash, you suck. The calls are coming from the house. Run out the door. Yes. Run out the door. Yes. Run out the door. Run out the door. Go! Get out the door! I mean, she wants to make sure her friends are okay. Phil! Bob! Claude? Oh, please answer me! Leave, leave, the, leave the house. Leave the, leave, 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 leave the house. Leave, go out the house. Go out the house, go out the house, go. Out the, turn the knob, turn the go. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. No. I mean, understandable and heroic, but it's not gonna end well. Granted, I don't know for sure that Phil is dead, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Phil is dead. Agnes, it's me, Billy. Uh, right in the... Yeah, f*** you, Billy. No, keep trying... Uh, ah. 
You have a poker. Hit it with the poker. Okay. okay. Understandable. You were frightened and panicked and everything. Next time, remember, you have a poker. There's, there's surely a light switch down there, right? You, you live here. You should know where the light switch is. Turn on the lights, woman. This is not an abandoned house. This is a working house with electricity that you should be turning the lights on to. Okay, that's probably not the boyfriend because he wouldn't be looking in the basement for her. Unless the killer and the boyfriend are the same person, which again, I've committed to saying they're not, but I'm still not really sure. Okay, now I am more suspicious of him because he, he Because if he's not the killer, he has no reason to look in the basement for her. Jess? Oh look, ice skates! Jess, is that you? If he's not the killer, his behavior is still Jess, inappropriate at this point. Are you in there? Jess, you had me worried. Back off, turtleneck! Now that's some good door breaking down. Does no one look for the light switch? Is she dead too? Did she kill him? And it's, uh, what the, did she pass out? What's ha- uh, 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 okay. So since she killed him, or did she kill him? And it's somebody else? It wasn't him. That kid. No, it wasn't. Why would Peter start killing people? No, it wasn't him. I don't know. Then who is Agnes? I don't trust this. And she's being left alone. Someone was gonna stay with her. Someone just stay. And where is Claude? <laughs> I'm unsettled. But it looks like an onion. You are my one ray of hope, onion light. Did they find the bodies in the attic? They must have found the bodies in the attic. So where was he hiding? Yeah. They didn't find the bodies in the attic. Maybe they should have checked the f***ing attic. You should go back inside. Back inside. Back in. Back. You can smoke in the house. Come on. I'm not tense. You're tense. What? Did, did, did they run out of money to film the rest of the movie? There's a guy in the attic and I need closure. So is he gonna creep back down and kill Jess? Who is Agnes? What the f I need... Uh, uh. Son of a bitch. So that movie must have been made before they invented endings. Actually, well, okay, first of all, I like that movie. It was good, it was tense. I enjoyed it more than I was expecting to, and I was drawn into it more than I was expecting to. I think a big part of that is the killer himself. Billy, I guess, is his name, maybe? <laughs> um, just how disturbing the phone calls were. And actually, that was the main thing, I think. And, and not knowing if it was him or the boyfriend. Because I was never, up until, when, when she, when it turned out that she had killed him. That's kind of when I figured, okay, that's not him. And I was expecting there to be like a final climax when everyone's relaxed. And, and then Billy comes and, and kills everyone. Well, not everyone, but Billy tries to come out. But... The way it ended, I'm up to, it's weird. I'm, I'm, I'm still going back and forth on it because on the one hand, I really wanted to know who the heck Billy was, who, what he was doing, why he was doing this, who Agnes was. But on the other hand, the way it ended, the one policeman still there, but outside and Billy being upstairs, there is no closure, which on the one hand is frustrating. And I, I want to yell, hey, that's a cop out. But on the other hand, the fact that there is no closure kind of means this feeling of tenseness and anxiety and and dread and knowing there's something still on the attic and knowing that she's vulnerable 
the movie doesn't let you get rid of that and it sticks with you so in that sense i like it because it does for a horror movie you know I, I think a good horror movie scares you and and stays with you and so I've, i'm still stuck with this unsettled feeling would that feeling be as strong if i had found out who agnes was all other things being equal and the movie still ended the way it did i don't know because i think part of that unsatisfactory feeling is what's unsettling so so again, I, I, I'm back and forth on this because it feels like the story is unfinished and they just decided to end it. But on the other hand, that feels like a really effective way to end it. So I don't know. I think the ending will probably grow on me as I as I think about it. But at first I was, you know, you saw, I was just shocked that it was ending right there. And it's like, ah, which I guess is, a, is an effect you want for a horror movie. I wouldn't want all horror movies to end like this because I do like I do like my backstory and my, my lore and my closure in some way. But yeah, that was that was a surprisingly good movie. It was effective and creepy. That's, that's I guess, my final verdict. I don't really have anyone for the Net Award. I said during the video, but I'm not sure if it made it into the edit, but I think going on, since the Net Award originated in Friday the 13th, I think as I continue to watch movies, if there is someone who annoys me enough to the point where I'm just ready for them to die, I will award a Net Award, but I'm not going to award... I'm not going to give out a net award just because there's a movie. So it's not a guarantee that there will be a net award. In this one, I don't think there will be, there, there's no one really who annoyed me to that point. So no net award on this one, but there will be in, in future movies, I'm sure. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about this one. Again, just a reminder, if you like this video, please drop a like on this video. <laughs> if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Please feel free to check out my books. If you're interested in comedic fantasy or contemporary serious fantasy or cyberpunk, it's all in the description. And as I said before, the full length reaction for this video is going to be on Patreon. Actually, it already is on Patreon right now. It's a, in a watch along format, so you have to have your own copy of the movie to watch along with me. It's just $5 for the whole access for all the videos that are there. All my Friday the 13th reactions, all my Nightmare on Elm Street reactions, and so on. It's all, it's all there. Uh, link is in the, in the description and possibly at the bottom of the screen here. Aside from that, I'm going to call this one a night. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for watching this long. Oh, and tell me in the comments, um, is this where the, the call is coming from? inside the house thing originated or was it sort of a staple of horror stories or, or scary spooky stories before this i don't know i'm curious and also let me know all of your other thoughts on this movie later everybody